Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today with a Craftin' and Stampin' Design Team Smashbook page. I'm using the Wildwood My Crush Book, which is their Smashbook series from Close to My Heart. I will put links in the description box below. I decided to take this page and cut it down to 8 inches. It's 10 inches, so I'm taking an inch off the top and an inch off the bottom, and I'm just marking both the left and right hand side of the page. That way I can draw a straight line across to use as my guide to cut out. I have a self-healing mat below it to protect the next page and now I'm just using my Tim Holtz ruler to use as um, my guide. It has a metal edge so I'm using that as my guide with my craft knife to cut that out. And I decided I wanted to add a bracket edge to that page so I just designed a bracket shape in the cameo and I per, I made it eight inches tall to match the page and now I'll just trace that and cut it out. I then decide though that I want a little bit more off the page so after I cut it out I realize I want a little bit more so I just put the um, bracket back on there and trace it again and cut it out a second time so you'll see me do that here in just a moment. then I will make sure to erase all my lines. If you don't have a Cameo or a Cricut, you could simply draw that out by hand and make your own template to cut a page down if you'd like. I'm using some Tim Holtz Distress Ink to ink the edges of my page. I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more against that white page that's behind it. My photos are 3x3. Three three. I printed them out myself. I made them square photos and I'm just using a scrap piece of paper. And here I'm showing you a film strip that I had in my stash. I have no clue where I got it from. I believe I got it from a local scrapbook store. I've had it in my stash probably 8 to 10 years. And it folds in half so I'm just going to tuck the bottom half behind my scrap piece of paper here. And this paper is from the Chevron stack by the Paper Studio. So again, I'm just tucking that a little bit behind my scrap paper and then I will add my photos. Here's a little journaling card that I cut from the Cameo, or I printed. I went ahead and used some Distress Ink on the edges of this as well because I did not plan on tucking it behind the film strip but I quickly noticed that it fits perfectly behind there after I trimmed off a little from the bottom so you don't even notice that that ink on the edges and here I'm just adding a few more things that I had in my stash already cut out this is the Wildwood assortment pack and this also comes from close to my heart. I will put a link for those also in the description box. They have lots of journaling cards and stickers and alpha stickers and so I pulled out a journaling card. I'll cut it in half, save the other, other half and added a sticker and then I believe I add another sticker here as well. This pack has really lasted quite a while. You get quite a bit in it. So now I'm just going to start adhering everything down and I like the Scotch Quick Dry because it does dry clear if anything seeps out. But for the film strip, because it is um, transparency, I'm going to add some glossy accents. That's a real strong glue as well. Those little flowers are from Graphic 45, the Botanical Tea flowers. And those circles are from the cameo that I, I had them in my stash. I like to cut out a large piece of them and then just cut them apart and use them a little bit here and there. This is a tiny little, it says beautiful, but the U stands out, so it's beautiful. And a film strip, I'll cut that in half. It, 
excuse me, a viewfinder. And here I'm adding some handmade enamel dots. I also add a journaling tag, tab to it, also with a date on it. And that's all there was to it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And I will also put the links to Jessica Wilson's website, Craftin' and Stampin', down in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching.